Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Wow, three deck reviews. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, I'm your host. I hope you like playing cards. I love playing cards. This channel actually started off as a playing card review channel. Uh, I've been a deck collector, playing card collector for over 30 years, and it's been something that's been a passion of mine, something that I've uh, just done and followed. It started off as just me buying cards, you know, when you go to airports and, you know, different states or you get just collectible cards that you find, you know, at truck stops or at amusement parks. And then it kind of just blossomed from there as the playing card industry took off and the custom playing card industry took off with Kickstarter and with some of the more creative and more prolific artists like Jackson Robinson and uh, Stockholm 17. And so, uh, yeah, I have a huge deck collection at home. I probably should do a video about that, right? Some of you have been asking me to do a new updated video of my collection. I think I'll do that soon. I think I'll do that soon, okay? Uh, today, we're actually gonna look at something from playingcarddecks.com. Will Roya down at playingcarddecks.com alongside Azurda Ox, who was the illustrator for this, has put together a set of reproduction vintage decks. Now, a lot of us who can't afford, you know, the real classic decks, the, the vintage decks from a long time back, uh, we, we're, we are left with getting the reproductions, right? And it's great when designers make these reproduction decks because it's a way for us to see what these vintage decks would have looked like and still have something in our collection that maybe represents them. If you like playing cards, if you are passionate about playing cards, if you're passionate about collecting playing cards, I would highly recommend that you look up 52 Plus Jokers. 52 Plus Jokers is a collection of people. Uh, they do conventions and they talk about playing cards. This is their jam. So if you want to be part of a, a tight-knit group that really gets into playing cards and talks about them, definitely look at 52 Plus Jokers. For now, let's look at these transformation decks. All right, what is a transformation deck? I've reviewed a couple different transformation decks on the channel, but maybe you're new and you kind of like, well, what, it, well, you know, what is it? Um, by the 19th century, the standards for playing cards had probably become fixed in most of Europe and America. What, what you see with the French, they were using hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Uh, German cards were using acorns, leaves, hearts, and bells. So it's around that time that we start to see, uh, both in Germany and France and England, that the artists and the deck designers are creating these small little figures, little pictures, around the pips. Now it's typically just pips, it's not court cards. Uh, a transformation deck is a type of deck where the artist incorporates the pips and the numbers into the artistic design. In a classical transformation deck, the pips retain their placement, retain their color, right? Blacks are black, reds are red. But in more contemporary decks, we've started to see the pips now move around the, the card and they even can change color. Now approximately 70 different transformation decks were created throughout the 19th century, which isn't really that many. And by the late 19th century, we start to see more colorful and creative transformation decks released by Vanity Fair and Harlequin. We're gonna look at one of those decks right now, the Vanity Fair deck. First up is Vanity Fair number 41 at playingcarddecks.com. This is available in both a red back and a green back. These cards were originally published by the United States Playing Card Company back in 1895. This was the first transformation deck printed by Bicycle, and it's humorous, right? It's funny, and it's become one of the most well-known transformation decks ever released. This deck was digitally recreated from Azura Ox and Will Roya, and they used authentic source material so they could be as accurate as possible. The back design has a medium-sized poker border, and the inside frame is filled with all of these masks and laughing faces amidst uh, vine work and leaf work. With this deck, you'll get an extra nine of diamonds and a double backer, which could be great for magic tricks. And you'll get two devil-like jokers holding a pitchfork, one red, one green. And your ace of spades is two liberty-looking people uh, extending their hands over the ace center pip, and it says number 41, United States Playing Card Company, and it does say that this is the 2019 reproduction. 
In the Vanity Fair deck, the pips are incorporated uh, as one picture, then two pictures, then three pictures, then four pictures. You see the little uh, tiny vignettes that appear as the cards go up in number, and the court cards are all very ugly uh, courts. They almost kind of look like Alice in Wonderland uh, comical courts. Next up is the number 61 Hustling Joe playing cards. These decks are available in a blue back, which has gnomes on it, and a green back, which has frogs on it. This deck is a semi-transformation deck, and it was released by the United States Playing Card Company back in 1895. The back design depicts various dancing gnomes coming out of a tree, and you have a medium-sized poker border. With this deck, you'll get a double backer and an extra Ace of Spades, which could be great for magic tricks. Your two jokers are a Harlequin type figure who is standing amidst the four aces and he's holding the Ace of Hearts in his hand. One is red, one is green. Your Ace of Spades says Hustling Joe number 61 playing cards and it has Joe there. Uh, and it does say that this is a 2019 reproduction deck. And you'll see in this deck, all the cards are one-way pictures including the court cards, which are all very comical, humorous looking characters. Lastly, we're gonna look at the Ye Witches number 62 reproduction deck. This deck is available in a broom back, which is green, and a cauldron back, which is red. This reproduction deck was based off of the Ye Witches fortune cards number 62, printed from the United States Playing Card Company back in 1896. And the neat thing about this deck is if you purchase it from playingcarddecks.com, you will get a fortune telling PDF. The back design has a medium sized poker border and it depicts uh, your graphic, your witch, or your witches over a cauldron there in the center, surrounded by uh, vine work and framework. With this deck, you'll get a double backer and a blank face card, which is great for magic tricks. I have the broom back deck out and it depicts uh, several different lucky items. So you have a horseshoe, a four leaf clover, and a wishbone. Your ace of spades has a court style gentleman holding the ace of spades trademark there against his chest. And it says ye witches fortune cards number 62 copyright 1896. But then it also indicates that this is the 2019 reproduction deck. As you go through the deck, you'll see uh, little pictures behind each of the number cards and then the court cards uh, have not been touched, and but they have been stylized to depict courts from this time period. All right, what else can I say about these cards? Uh, they're all printed from the United States Playing Card Company, right? They're all on the classic stock. They're all poker sized. All the decks are traditional cut and they have replica tax seal stamps on the tuck case. You're also gonna see gold metallic ink on each box. Each deck is limited to 2,000 a piece. Uh, so if you wanna pick these decks up, if you're into collecting playing cards, or if you like collecting these transformation decks, and you've always wanted to own a reproduction deck yourself, head on down to playingcarddecks.com. I wanna thank Will Roya. I wanna thank Azurd Ox for allowing me to have these cards so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase them for yourself, like I said, they're at playingcarddecks.com. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Uh, as you know, it's Halloween season right now, and Halloween is my favorite time of year. Uh, a couple years ago, I did a series of brief little deck reviews called the 13 Decks of Halloween. And in that series, I show off the 13 decks in my collection that I think are the spookiest. And so if you wanna watch those, they're really quick. Each video is only about two minutes long. You can just go up to the search field and type in hashtag 13 decks of Halloween, and it'll bring all those up for you. And uh, that might help get you in the mood uh, for this spooky time of year.